as most know on Delmarva, and if you don't, you're about to find out. There's a lot going on in lovely Georgetown, along with being the county seat of Sussex County. It also has great restaurants, a diverse community, and a lot of events held right in its city center. But you can find all that out on the internet. What you can't find is a perspective and love of the city that you can only get through the mayor himself. So guess what? He's here on the show to tell us more. We would like to welcome Georgetown Mayor Bill West here to the couches. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you, thank you for you. having me. Okay. Thank you. Let, me, let me get straight to the point here. How did you get to Georgetown? How did you wind up in Georgetown? Were you born in Bo Georgetown? Born and raised in Were Georgetown. You really? really? Well, in Harbison, which is five miles outside of Georgetown, but right. all the sporting events and everything was in Georgetown. That, that was my school. That's uh, where I grew up. That's, uh, that was home. And that was home. Obviously, you decided to stay and did well, you I, raise a family. I, I started in law enforcement as a police officer in the town of Georgetown. Really? And uh, worked for uh, Chief Harvey Gregg in uh, from '79 to '82. In '82, I was uh, 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 taken in as a as a Delaware State Trooper. Yeah. And I'd done my career there and and retired, and now I'm back home. How about that? Tell us about family. Uh, wife, wife Faye, uh, and two kids. Courtney and Megan. Yeah. Courtney uh, is married and living in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. She works for a pharmaceutical company. He's full-time military. Uh, my other daughter is, is Megan. She's a teacher at uh, Brandywine uh, School District. Uh, she's engaged in uh, planning a wedding uh, July 15th of this year. Uh, she will be uh, Mrs. Reese. Mrs. Reese. Mrs. Reese. Okay. Okay. All right. So tell us something, uh, one thing that people don't know about you. No, oh. <laughs> you put me on the spot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I think the people at Georgetown though, over the past uh, four years have, have got to know me pretty well. They, yeah. they know uh, where my heart is and, and they know what I like and, and, uh, and they know I love that town. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. that's important. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, you got a passion for Georgetown? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. So what do you do for hobbies? Well, we, we used to go down on the beach uh, with a four-wheel drive, and uh, I, I still love baseball. Yeah. So I, I, I go to see the Phillies whenever I get a chance, and uh, I guess I'm a Philly fan, so I, I like my Eagles too, but uh, <laughs> that's, don't tell everybody that. Uh, no. <laughs> we won't mention it on television. No, no, no we not won't, at all. but you know that he's a Phillies fan. But now I, I, I guess my main pleasure anymore is uh, just putting a smile on the, the faces of the people of the town. It's... It's unbelievable. We, we have concerts every Thursday night. And, uh, and, and to walk around, I, I can't go to people's houses and sit down and talk to them, but walking around at, at that concert for two hours yeah. and talking to the people, I can get a sense of what they want and, 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 and things that need to be done in that town. And, and, and it, it's, it's great walking around there and see people smile and happy about their community. All right, unfortunately, and, and and what I've noticed is being in politics in any way, especially being a mayor, it's not all roses and you know smiles. There are some. You, you have some, some bumpy challenge. roads. You yes, bumpy you do. Roads. Yep. So what keeps you up at night? Uh, I, I I guess my my, my concern there is, is just I, I know I can't please everybody, but when when you have somebody that's negative, I'm thinking, what can I do to change that person's attitude to to be on the the plus or the positive side of things in Georgetown okay. yeah. and that's uh, that that's that's my worry wart uh, uh, of sitting there at nighttime and my wife will look at me she says what are you thinking about yeah. because she sees oh, that oh, oh, she oh, sees oh, that oh. stare in my face and know that uh, something's on my mind most so. wives know that oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like that so okay um, first time visitor what would you tell them when they come to Georgetown they absolutely have got to do uh, See the museums. Yeah. Uh, we, we have first Saturday uh, of the month, and we've got, uh, I think, six museums. And I, I'd, I've asked people to attend them and see the different history of Georgetown, the, the Marble Museum, the, the train station, the old fire hall, something you'd be interested mm -hmm. in. <laughs> and, uh, and, and you've got to have lunch at the Brick, or you've got to have lunch at J.D. Shuckers. Yes. Ah, okay. So um, what's the most rewarding part of being the mayor? I, I love the way this community is coming together. It, it's I, I, I can put on Facebook or I can advertise that I need something or, or would like to have something, and it's unbelievable how people are, are, 
or jumping to the front and saying, Mayor, I'll get that for you. Mayor will do that for you. It's, it's, uh, the, the, we got an arts and flowers uh, group and they're responsible for all the flowers in the circle and the parks and uh, I, they, they just do it on, uh, just for the enjoyment and it's unbelievable the way people have come together to get things done in Georgetown. I gotta ask you, if, if someone would go back and tell 10 year old Bill West that he was going to be the mayor of Georgetown, do you think he would have believed that? Oh, him? I was an ornery little brat and nobody <laughs> would have believed that. <laughs> None of your friends either, huh? No, no, no. 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 Some of my classmates now saying, you're the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yes, there's some I stories. Yeah, that. that's <laughs> enough. Yeah. Mayor, uh, uh, we've kind of gotten taken care of the, the hardest part before we, well, actually not the hardest part. No. We're going to move on to the hardest part. Before we do, though, uh, I noticed that you uh, have a picture of uh, Corporal Campbell on your lapel there. Um, his wife came to Georgetown for the vigil. Oh yes. Was that yes. a surprise? Oh, that, that was a big surprise. Uh, Monday night we had the vigil for uh, Corporal Ballard and uh, at the last minute uh, my, one of my police officers come up to me and says, Bill, there's something going on. I said, what is it? They said, his wife showed up. And it, it just, oh, I, I, it just shocked me. I, I never expected that, you know, her being from Middletown and she'd been to uh, events all day long. I just knew she was wore out. Yeah. But uh, she, she came and then uh, the colonel of the state police told me, he says, Billy, she wants to talk. Mm. So she, she, strong lady, yeah. walked up to that microphone and, and, and just spilled it out that uh, they, they met in Sussex County, he started in Sussex County, they got engaged in Dewey Beach, they spent their summers in Dewey Beach just to get away and, and it, it just an unbelievable uh, uh, performance of a strong lady in, in, in time that she needs our support. And even she said that everyone there is family. That's correct. That's, that's correct. That's a good town you got Oh there. yeah. Oh yeah. Well congratulations. Mm. Well thank you very much. Um, now this whole smack you've been talking about cornhole. Yeah he walked in talking it. He was like he is going you're, you're determined you're gonna beat us. <laughs> Do I need to close both eyes or just one? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's safe to say okay. that you're ready. Okay. Gauntlet's so. been thrown. Here we go. That's going to come up next. Yeah.